trying his best to salvage what the sludge has not swept away. This man is one of thousands across Slovenia who woke up to what the government describes as catastrophic devastation. The water penetrated around 3 or 4 a.m. It was destroying everything in its way. Workshop, yard, cars, all of it destroyed it. Nothing was left. Everything was in the water. I took my car keys, put the car in reverse. My wife got in and that's how we got out. Everything else was flooded. In 24 hours, more than a month's amount of rain poured down. Officials are warning of more flooding because rivers are quickly swelling up. Slovenia's environmental agency has raised the weather alert to the highest level. Prime Minister Robert Golub thinks the floods could be the biggest since Slovenia became independent in 1991. And officials in many affected towns agree. Very quickly it was apparent that this would not be a typical flood event, that it will not just be some flooded basements. One of the worst things is the landslides in Lochnica. That cut off a big part of the village of Sora. Rescuers are having a tough time reaching stranded people in the northern and western parts of the country. Railway lines have been cut off and power outages are widespread. Emergency services have made a public call for rubber boats in places where roads are impossible. In areas where a state of emergency has been declared, the army is standing by to help. The defense ministry has asked citizens in those zones to stay indoors. Everyone who does not have an emergency route, stay where you are. Any presence on the road makes the work of rescue teams even more difficult. Meteorologists are expecting heavy rains to continue for at least another 24 hours and to spread to neighboring Croatia and Bosnia and further south. Malachaba Mudzipe, Al Jazeera.